<laughs> it's Tuesday just before noon I just got back from the treasurer's office buying yet another license for this new farmers fair we're getting ready to have Thursday every Thursday no three Thursdays in November three Thursdays in December from four to seven so I had to get a license another license like I said so I'm back and then on Sunday my buddy Tracy stopped by to say hello see what was going on and we were outside in the driveway talking and he said Max says you got a nail in your tire or some kind of piece of metal stuck in your tire so I took it by the gas station they said they could put a plug in it so my plan was to do that today when I left the courthouse picking up my license well, I can tell you that changed a little bit. Anyway, on my way back, I got a call from a guy, a fisherman, hunter. I said, Max, I need your help. I said, I'm going hunting this weekend. I need my knives all sharpened up. I said, okay. So I met him. He wasn't far from the courthouse. Picked up his knives. And now I'm on my way home. And I get a text from the mumbles man. Mumbles man's been on a gold Klondike down there today at the land of Nala. He found a 10 carat gold ring. He found an 18 carat, we call it a front, a grill, you know, but it's more like a bridge, sort of like. It's got a tooth in it, or, you know, maybe one tooth fell out. It's got one tooth still in, glued in it. 18K. And then he found a... a I forgot whether you said 14k or 10k on a nice little uh, bracelet, bangle type bracelet. Anyway, I'll have the pictures to that. Mumbles man was on the gold today. He said nobody else down there but him. About two dollars and some cent worth of clad. The last three times he's been down, he's found uh, I think he told me 15 dollars worth of change. But this is the first gold he found. He found a couple of silver rings, some bling stuff. A couple guys went on the bay this morning. They didn't do much. The Guru and Doc Beaver. Look at them too. That's all they do. <laughs> anyway, I'll have some nice gold for you to look at. And a few knives at the end. After I get them all. Well, I'll give them to you in a minute so you can see what they look like. But it's a big fillet knife and then three hunting knives. My, uh, I don't know if I told you this or not, but my ex-wife's been in the hospital for a couple of days with, uh, so, so I guess you call them side effects of pancreatic cancer that she was diagnosed with not long ago. She's having a struggle right now. Bite him, that's right. <laughs> Bite the hell out of it. Jack will be my size pretty soon, he said. Okay, that's all I got. I'll get them nice to you in a minute. That's what he does. He races around Jack and circles. <laughs> Speedboat. Where are you going, Indian? Now you want to play, huh? <laughs> she got sharp little teeth, ain't she, Jack? Got teeth like little razors. Yeah. Razor teeth. She struggles with the door yet. She hasn't figured out the door. It's a magnetic locking door. She has a thing on her collar that unlocks it. She goes up to it and she pushes it open with her nose and then she pulls back and it makes a funny noise and it scares her. She'll follow Jack out the door but she won't go out by herself yet. She's tried twice in the last 10 minutes to get it all the way open, but she doesn't.
<laughs> you can go out. Go on out there. Let's get to these knives. This is that fillet knife. I'm pretty sure it's a Dexter. Not too bad shape. Got a few little nicks in it here and there. Long, flexible taquito. And this one, China. Remington. This one says Free Hunter. I bet that's Western. USA. And last but not least is the Winchester. Big one. Okay. Well, all the guys hunting fishing knives are done. The old Dexter fish knife, fillet knife, the Winchester. Uh, Remington? No, Western. This is a Remington with a gut hook on it. Okay. I got window man coming tomorrow to put windows in my house. I'm captured one more day. Maybe by Thursday. I might be able to go in the morning. But I got that new fare on Thursday afternoon, so we'll have to see how that Thursday goes. It was rain Thursday morning anyway, so might not be able to go. But the Mumbles Man is coming up at the end. Gold, yellow, and a tooth. Stand by.